Hey guys, Harrison here, and if you've ever wanted to use your Lightroom presets to color grade your video footage, then this is the video for you. Because today I'm going to show you how we can convert our Lightroom presets into a LUT that we can use in programs like Premiere Pro and Final Cut to color grade our video footage. So let's get into it. So to start, you're going to need to jump onto a computer and then visit the link in the video description to download the program that we're going to be using today called a LUT generator. So once you've downloaded it, extract it, and then open up the LUT generator program and you'll see that it's pretty simple. So we've got a whole two buttons to play around here. One's called generate a held and the other one's called convert to cube which is a kind of LUT format. So essentially convert to LUT. So we're going to start off by pressing generate a held and then choosing a location for it to be created into and you'll see if you visit that location that the LUT generator has made this photo with all these crazy random rainbow squiggles on it and that is exactly what we need. So now we need to open up Lightroom or Photoshop and import the held, that photo with all those random squiggles, you want to import that photo into Lightroom or Photoshop. And now we want to apply the preset that we want to convert into a LUT, apply that to this photo. You might want to apply a few little tweaks to the preset if you want, and then you want to go ahead and save this edited photo as a PNG file. Make sure it is a PNG, otherwise this just won't work. So once you've saved that photo, go back to the LUT generator and you want to press convert to cube and then pick out the photo that we just saved, that edited held file, import that, wait a few seconds and then the LUT generator will say that it's completed. And we can see that the LUT generator has made our LUT for us. Easy as that. And now to check that everything worked properly, just open up your video editor, import the LUT and then apply it to some video footage you've got and there you go. Just don't forget though, especially if you're used to shooting raw photos, that you're probably not shooting your videos in raw, so you're just not going to be able to push those video files the same way that you can push your raw photos. So some Lightroom presets that you convert into LUTs might just end up being a bit too much for your videos to handle, you might end up just pulling them apart a bit, and so for that I'd just say you might want to go back into Lightroom and just tone down your adjustments a little bit and then re-export those as a new LUT. That's all I've really got for you today though. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below and let me know in the comments section what you've been using this for, what LUTs you've converted. And I'd also love it if, if you had any video suggestions or ideas for maybe some future videos. I'd love it if you could leave that in the comments section as well. It would also be great if you could check out my Instagram page. I like to post there pretty frequently and it would be awesome if you could check it out. Apart from that though, thanks for watching and I'll catch ya in the next video.